Well, hello, and how do you do? I received the Photoshop question from a friend of mine via email, and he asked me the following question. First, I save the downloaded photos to a backup hard drive. When I go into Bridge, I select the photo, I make whatever adjustments, then I open it and bring it into Photoshop CS6. I then crop denoise, etc. and I save it as a JPEG. When I close out CS6 it asks if I want to save the changes and I say no. Then if I open the photo again in Bridge it has all the changes I made. How can I keep the original picture with no changes? Well, good question and uh, let's have a look at how you would do that. You would open up Bridge in uh, this case here, uh, I've got some photos that I uh, took uh, out of my airplane of a sunset. And let's see what happens when we double click one of these. You'll notice that it opens up that image in a new window. This is actually the Adobe Camera Raw window. This is where you would make adjustments prior to bringing it into Photoshop. When you notice the palette on the right here, all the sliders are right down the middle and all the values in the windows are set at zero. This is by default. We want to do a preset, uh, create one, and we want to save all these default settings. So in order to do that, go up to your icon row here and the second one from the end is called presets. When you click that, you'll see a window here that has nothing in it. We want to create a new preset. Go down to the bottom of that window. You'll see an icon that will allow you to create a new preset in this window here. Make sure in the subset window, all settings is selected. If it isn't, you can hit the drop down arrow and select it. Now we want to give this a name that we'll remember. Let's call it Original Settings. Now let's go back to the basic window and make some adjustments. I'm just going to move these sliders a little bit each one so that you can see the values changing. Bring up the shadows, just move these a little bit. We'll increase the blacks somewhat and we'll bump up the vibrance and the saturation. And a little too much yellow for my taste. Let's go into this window and remove some of the yellow, maybe bump up a little orange and red, change the luminance just a little bit, just like so. Looking good. And let's see what we could do with that yellow. Good. Very good. Go back to the basic window. You'll see all the changes are still there that we made. You could even adjust the white balance if you feel you need to. Let's cool this down a little bit. Now, let's open up the image. That'll bring it into Photoshop. I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I would make whatever adjustments, changes, I would want to add text, whatever it is that you want to do. And then you're going to save it. We're going to do save as. And uh, the original question asked about saving it to JPEG. So let's do that and we'll give it a name. We'll call it test. We'll say OK. Now we go to close this out. It's going to ask us if we want to save the changes. We say no. Now, if we go back to Bridge and we open, reopen that, that uh, image, you'll see that it saved all of the adjustments that we made, which we don't want. Now, there's two ways that you can set this back to uh, the way it was, it was set. You could either hit this little guy here and then click on Camera Raw Defaults or you could simply go to the presets and the one that you just created is Original Settings. You see what just happened to the image when I clicked on it. We go back to the basic window and everything is now back at zero. And the good thing about the preset is this preset is not just limited to this image. Anytime that you open an image in a camera raw you'll have this option now that you created it and the good thing about shooting in a camera raw is that any adjustments you do make in here are not considered destructive they are non-destructive unlike JPEG that uh, when you make an adjustment it will degrade the image that does not happen when you shoot in raw I hope this helps have a nice day